a dedication for two brothers who were beloved in the Loris community. An intersection is now named for Miles and Christopher Waddell. The brothers tragically lost their lives in a drunk driving crash back in 2014. And now the state is giving their family and friends something to remember them by. Our Julia Richardson was at the dedication this morning. She now joins us live. And Julia, we understand these brothers really deeply impacted the community there. Rachel, I'm standing in front of the sign right now. I'm on Red Bluff Road, just up the road from where the crash happened back in 2014. I talked to friends and family of the brothers who say that they deserve all of this recognition as they just wanted to help the community and they were great supports throughout the community as well. They were loved, and not just by the family, but the whole community. On December 22, 2014, Christopher and Miles Waddell were driving home from Christmas shopping when a drunk driver hit their car head on. This was the last car ride they would take together. I heard people say it should have been me instead of them because they were a lot better than I. But nearly a decade later, the Waddell names will now be part of Loris history. The city has named the intersection at Highway 66 and Red Bluff Road, near where the accident happened, in the brothers' memory. We, we hope that it will give people pause to reflect on how short life can be. State Representative Kevin Hardy was the driving force behind the resolution. I was approached about naming something in their honor, and uh, the, the Ori delegation agreed to name this intersection which is close to where a tragic accident happened. And uh, it's just an honor to be able to do this for the family. Family and friends alike talked about how active the brothers were in their city, from being involved at church to teaching kids sports. If all young men grew up and acted like these young men, we wouldn't have any, any problems in the world today. While the boys' parents are thankful for the community's support, the sign unveiling was still difficult a reminder of a tragedy that should have never happened. And when you saw the sign for the first time, what were your thoughts? Um, Today is also a special day for the unveiling, as the boys' parents tell me that Christopher would have been 35 years old today. And Loris Julia Richardson, WMBF News.